In this example, we will use cantilever method to solve the reactions at the support A of the two-story moment frame. Support A, B, and C are fixed, and all the joints in the frame are fixed connections. Cantilever method is an approximate method to solve statically indeterminate moment frames by making assumptions of vertical load in the columns in order to reduce the moment frame to a statically determinate structure. Before solving the problem, we need to determine the degree of indeterminacy of this two-story moment frame equals to r minus 3n. This frame contains closed loops, so we need to cut the loops open. After the cut, the frame breaks into three separate members, and we get n equals to 3. The total number of reactions are equals to four cut sections times three reactions per section plus three reactions at A plus three reactions at B plus three reactions at C equals to 21. The degree of indeterminacy R minus 3M equals to 21 minus 3 times 3 equals to 12. Therefore, we need 12 additional equations or assumptions to reduce this frame to statically determinate. Now, we need to make assumptions for the frame using the cantilever method. First, we will add a hinge at the center of each beam. This will reduce 4 degrees of indeterminacy. Second, we will add a hinge at the center of each column and this will reduce 6 degrees of indeterminacy. Then, we assume that at a second floor level, the axial stress in a column is proportional to its distance from the neutral axis. And this assumption provides one additional equation, which reduces 1 degrees of indeterminacy. Last, we assume that at the first story level, the axial stress in a column is proportional to its distance from the neutral axis, and this reduces 1 degree of indeterminacy. Now, we have reduced 12 degrees of indeterminacy, and the moment frame has changed to a statically determinate structure, and we can solve the internal forces and support reactions by using the equations of equilibrium. First, we need to determine the location of the neutral axis. The neutral axis passes the centroid of the cross-sectional area of the columns. For this problem, the cross-sectional area of each column is the same. Denote the cross-sectional area of the column as A, and sum the moment at the leftmost column, and we get A times the arm of 18 feet plus a times the arm of 38 feet equals to 3a times x. Solve the equation and we get x equals to 18.67 feet. And then we will determine the vertical load in the columns at each floor level according to the overturning moment caused by the lateral loads. At the second story level, cut the frame at the column hinges the column axial stresses, sigma, is proportional to the distance to the frame neutral axis. According to the similar triangles, sigma HE over sigma ID equals to 0 0.67 over 18.67 equals to 0 0.0359, and sigma GF over sigma ID equals to 19.33 over 18.67 equals to 1.035. Sum the moment at the intersection of the neutral axis and the line connecting the column hinges, and we get sigma ID times the area of column times the arm of 18.67 feet plus sigma HE times area column times the arm of 0.67 feet plus sigma GF 
times the area of column times the arm of 19.33 feet equals to lateral load 3 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet. Stop the equation and we can get the vertical forces in column ID equals to 0 0.581 kips. The vertical force in column HE equals to 0 0.021 kips. And the vertical force in column GF equals to 0 0.601 kips. At the first story level, cut the frame at the column hinges. The column axial stresses is proportional to the distance to the frame neutral axis. According to the similar triangles, sigma BE over sigma AD equals to 0.67 over 18.67 equals to 0 0.0359 and sigma CF over sigma AD equals to 19.33 over 18.67 equals to 1.035 Sum the moment at the intersection of the neutral axis and the line connecting the column hinges and we get sigma AD times area of column times the arm of 18.67 feet plus sigma BE times the area of column times the arm of 0 0.67 feet plus sigma CF times the area of column times the arm of 19.33 feet equals to lateral load 3 kips times the arm of 22.5 feet plus lateral load of 4 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet. Solve the equation and we can get the vertical force in the column AD equals to 2.519 kips. And the vertical force in the column BE equals to 0 0.09 kips. And the vertical force in column CF equals to 2.607 kips. Next, we need to break the structure at the hinges and draw free body diagram of each member. There are two connection forces at each hinge. Then, from the top down, we will calculate connection forces at the hinges and support reactions. For member 1, we know that vertical force in the column ID is 0 0.581 kips uplift and there are three unknown connection forces for member 1. And we can solve all the unknowns by the equations of equilibrium. Summing the moment at point M and assuming the clockwise moment is positive, we get Kx times the arm of 7.5 feet minus 0 0.581 kips times the arm of 9 feet equals to 0 and we can solve for Kx equals to 0 0.697 kips. For member 2, we have got Kx equal to 0 0.697 kips, Ky equals to 0 0.581 kips uplift, and Jy equals to 2.519 kips. So there are three unknown connection forces left. Jx Lx and Ly, and we can solve these unknowns by using the equations of equilibrium. Summing the moment at the point L and assuming the clockwise moment is positive, we get 0 0.581 kips times the arm of 9 feet plus 0 0.697 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet plus Jx times the arm of 7.55 feet minus 2.519 kips times the arm of 9 feet equals to 0 and we can solve for Jx equals to 1.628 kips. For member 3, we have got Jx equal to 1.628 kips and Jy equals to 2.519 kips and there are three unknown reactions at the support A. Sum the forces in the x direction. We get 
1.628 kips minus AX equal to zero and AX equal to 1.628 kips. Sum the forces in the Y direction, we get 2.519 kips minus AY equals to zero and AY equals to 2.519 kips. Summing the moment at the point A and assuming the clockwise moment is positive, we get 1.628 kips times the arm of 7.5 feet minus MA equals to zero. And we can solve for MA equals to 12.2 kip feet.